All right. So we will talk about this bullshit. Where's the developer? Know that. Oh, am I free to play? Yeah. All right. So we got our news. Finally. Of who's coming out next. Uh, you go HP boots on them. Because uh, our attacks are based off HP. So. Finally know who's coming out next. And unfortunately. <laughs> at least. Anticipated. Of the three. This. Fucker. <laughs> I cannot believe. That they're releasing beast first. Um, with power destruction being nerfed with the bleed mechanic, I mean, it still kind of works when like the head is down, it does still do something. But <laughs> since the bleed was nerfed overall for bosses, it's kind of fucking sucks. It's not as good as he could have been. Um, I'm guessing, right? They just wait for the release of the game for Alicia and Cha, right? Because you know, waifu equals money, right? And I think those characters would be a lot more attractive for the release of the game from a business standpoint. Obviously, I want them now, <laughs> but from a business standpoint, uh, especially Alicia for. You know cerberus later when the game's actually out because that's how you, that's how you cash grab a lot of people when it comes to cerberus like oh i can't beat cerberus okay i'm gonna pull for this girl that beats cerberus really easily so it's very unfortunate but beast is next now even though he got kind of nerfed with the the bleed thing i'll probably still pull him because i can never really I'll never really know what they do in the future. To be honest. If we don't get any kind of multiplayer game, we'll die out fast. Well, we're getting the guild content. So we'll see how that works. Right? Because I imagine the guild content will probably have like the raid stuff. Or something of that form. I think it'll either be a raid or it's probably like the... We have to do like a lot of damage to the boss as a team. But I'll probably pull for him because, again, I don't really know what they might do in the future. Low key, I think they might add something to where with the amount of statuses you have on an enemy, it'll do more damage. I can see them doing something like that. Don't quote me on that, though. But if they do, that'd be cool. All right, what the fuck else did they fix? Should you pull Choi again? If Beast is coming out, should you pull Choi again? If you want one dupe of Choi, maybe. Because one dupe of Choi isn't the worst thing in the world to summon for. But still, the prize is still like Cha and Alicia later. Alright, I'll see these issues. <laughs> So we reduce combat difficulty for chapter eight five. Okay, who who agrees with the eight five nerf? I personally don't, but like also uh CO you go HP boots as well. I personally don't. Um I do agree that it was sort of like a quote-unquote major wall i guess for people but i really don't think they need to nerf any of the story i personally have never had an issue with any of the story actually all right let's see the difficulty of power destruction will be reduced but why why Holy shit, they're about to make this game baby as hell. <laughs> oh my goodness. The difficult. How do you lower the difficulty of power destruction? You just do less moves?
the milestone damage. Well, yeah, lower the milestones for hard mode, right? But that's just lowering the milestones on like the amount of damage. Difficulty? Like, what do they mean by difficulty? <laughs> like, are we doing? Is like the boss gonna do less damage? Is it like less phases? Like, what the fuck? Like, I would just expect they're just lower the damage requirements because yeah, it is kind of insane. Like, no one's doing two hundred and fifty-six <laughs> million damage <laughs> to the fucking boss. Unless they just mean lower, like, lower, like, the, the age, like, the amount of damage that it, it can take. Or, like, increase the amount of damage that it can take. Alright, automatically set Hunter with higher combat power. Okay, the skill effects of some Hunters. Oh, I'll just see effects of it, okay. The achievement conditions for certain battle missions will be relieved. Achievement conditions. The only thing I can see here is the stupid achievement where you need two dark uh, attribute characters. And that was disgusting for me at the beginning because I cannot pull a dark attribute character for my life. And I was just missing essence stones off of that. Okay, so they fixed. They're trying to fix the freezing in tutorial. Okay. All right, so banning the program, stuff like that. Considering a reduction of gold cost. Wow. <laughs> That's surprising. <laughs> okay, gave more artifact chips. Improving the reward acquisition method. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So they want to lower the difficulty of it and improve the reward acquisition, which means getting more damage. That's interesting. Okay. Adding more story. Various challenge content. Well, hopefully we get like new event modes or something like that. Improving the method of selling and salvaging. I don't know what they mean by that. I really have an issue with that. Unless they like mean salvage by like substats or something. And adding new stories to Hunter Archive. Which they definitely need to do because only having two was kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Whales, please don't pull, just send a message. Yeah, this guy is insane. Oh no, the comments. Oh, brother. They're going crazy. What's up, Jose? Welcome back. <laughs> Why the fuck is Hobgoblin so overpowered? Even when dodging most attacks and having a decent amount of power over it, it's <laughs> still getting wiped their time. <laughs> Oh no, that's the fucking hobgoblin, bro. <laughs> what the fuck are these comments? Holy shit, I can make a video on the fucking comments alone. This shit is funny. Damn, I didn't know that many people actually have issues with having gold. Imagine not managing gold. That's kind of crazy. Anywho. Just give me Elysia, man. I'm tired of Cerberus. 